Hey Zelda fans, welcome back to Caperna's Breath of the Wild Let's Play, episode 18. <clears throat> so, at the end of our last episode, we were uh, here at the Heber Tower, and I decided to warp a little bit to do some amiibo stuff, and I happened to find this general vicinity, because uh, it's so flat, and, you know, there's a, having a road... Uh, you don't have to deal with grass and stuff, so that that just kind of worked out. Anyway, since I was here, I thought I'd pick up this guy, which was killing us before. I assume the rocks have respawned. Yep, there they are. Okay. Farosh is in the background, just hanging out like a boss. Uh, hold on a sec. Yep, let's do this first. Love having weapons. Just can't say enough good things about weapons. <clears throat> I'm almost to the point where I start need to I need to start looking at other slots. Because the uh the weapon slots are just gonna get more expensive. Nope. And instead of trying to find sixteen or eighteen uh Korok seeds for the next item slot. Uh, I can spend like one on another shield slot, right? Or another bow slot. And right now... <clears throat> uh, right now, I've only got the four shield spots, which is not bad, but here pretty quick, I might try doing some... Uh, some guardian... I'm just a little bit diagonal for some reason. I just need to purposely counter myself. There we go. Seriously? I'm gonna do this again. I'm just gonna run out of stuff all over again. Alright, purposely counter. Yes! Finally! Yaha! -ha. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, um, so yeah, having four of these is nice, but I'd really like to have like ten-ish, um, just because I'm going to start playing around with uh, getting better at combat, and that might require a bunch of shields. Uh, bows are not as bad right now, but once I start getting into the um, fighting Lynels a lot, I'm going to have a lot of good bows that I don't want to get rid of. Uh, you can't have as many bows as anything else. Obviously, you've got arrow slots uh, taking up space. There's one There's one more arrow, I think, that you don't get until the very... Or, sorry, it's a bow. It, it always leaves space for one special bow at the very end of the game. Um, so you can only get... You can only get uh, uh, 19 slots total. So, oh. anyway, not a big deal, just starting to think about that. <clears throat> and since we're cleaning up Korok stuff, might as well go over here and get these two. Since we know that they're there. So I did some checking. I had a note yesterday to, uh, to look at Guardian drops. And the, the big Guardians, the Stalkers, those are the ones with the legs. The Skywatcher, uh, which is the big drone one, <clears throat> and the turret, which we haven't seen a turret yet, but basically they're they're like a Skywatcher except upside down, and they're stuck in the ground. Uh, those all can drop the uh, the giant ancient cores and everything else that's ancient. Um, your decayed guardian; those are the ones that are stuck in the ground and they're all messed up. You know, they're covered in moss and stuff. Those can't. Uh, those can only drop screws, springs, gears, and shafts. So those can't drop any cores. Uh, and then sentries, which we haven't seen either, those can drop some cores. Guardian scouts, uh, level three and four, can drop ancient cores, but none of them can drop the uh, the giant ancient cores. So, just for your information. All right, we had one over here. 
<clears throat> oh look, there's a shrine. We might go get that next. It's kind of out of our way, but... I could be using flint here as well, but I've got plenty of fire arrows, and I know where to get more. We are getting into an area that uses more, uh, or can use more fire arrows. Fanning the flames of destruction. This has to go all the way down and then disappear. I've gotten them really close before, like to the point where you can't even see them, and I didn't think anything was happening, <clears throat> so I walked away. But they were just right on the edge. There you go. They had to completely disappear. It's lily pad face. So yeah, there's that one. Uh, not all the ice cubes are ice... Uh, whatever you want to call them. Not all of those ice things are Koroks. Uh, in the mountains, uh, the ice mountain areas, obviously, you're going to see more of those, kind of like around that the tower that we were just at. And they're not all Korok related. So you got to kind of find which ones make sense to be Korok related, or you can just uh, use the... Um, the mask to verify once we get the mask. Come on. There we go. Um, you gonna go all the way? You're not gonna go all the way. How about we do... Can I do one over here too? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, so this killed us before. Um, hmm. Let's climb down over here. Being super, super careful. Baby steps. Butterfly face. Let's go back to the tower. I'm gonna jump on Apple now, and we're gonna ride to the Rito Village. This is our next stop. Um, I guess we could have gotten that shrine, but we'll get it. Not in any hurry. There's a Hinox over by that shrine that we saw too. Another thing that doesn't necessarily matter. Okay, I need this and this is our last one. So we gotta make it all the way to Rito Town. Rito Village. Shouldn't be a problem. Once we get there we'll never have to make one again if we don't want to. Five minutes and 36 seconds. All the time in the world. And do we want to do a shrine? I don't remember where this one is. You know, I could have just used the tower. That would have been a lot smarter, wouldn't it? <clears throat> How about we just use the tower? You notice I'm in midair. You can transfer, you can uh, teleport in basically any configuration of anything. Uh, except for a couple of special areas in the world, you can teleport when you're, you know, in combat, when you're swimming, when you're in midair, when you're on your horse. Uh, anything, any 
time that you want to do that. It's great to get out of, like, crazy situations. Okay, it should be in this general direction. I don't see it, though. Which leads me to believe that it's a hidden one back behind that ridge. The thing should be going off here pretty quick. the wood? That would be interesting. I thought this was in a way different place. We got four minutes. That's plenty of time. Worst case scenario, we go back and we can cook some more food. This is kind of a fun one. Uh, just getting to the shrine is kind of interesting. You gotta go way the hell up here. And you're looking for... kind of a unique thing that only exists basically right here. <clears throat> so we want this snowball to get all the way down there. And as it goes, it's going to pick up snow and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and whatever. So let's see, this is from the rock. This is one, two, three, four ruts. Let's just see what this does. I don't remember which one of these is correct. See, it didn't quite make it. But it got pretty big. In the spirit of time, just gonna... I think it's one of these. I feel like this might be the right one. Yep, oh, looking good so far. Looking good. Nope, didn't make it. Alright, well it's one of these, so we'll just do all of them. Come on. I suppose there is a chance that they will run into each other. And thus, canceling out their momentum. Oh, hold on. No, that one didn't make it either. Alright, we still got three to go. Two, three. We already did this one, and this one, and this one. Is there anything left to do? Might be one of those special things. Where are these even going? Oh, they broke. Okay, so we kind of wanted to go this way. And then. Alright, so which one is this one? I guess we could have just followed this up from the start. either this one or, or that one. <clears throat> we are going to run out of cold resistance, though. That's somewhat problematic. Yep. Also, we're going to run out of these uh, snowballs. Yep. Give it a little extra oomph. Mm, see, I think it missed its, its target. What happens if we do... this? <clears throat> and then we specifically... 
specifically throw it right here. Yep. Whoops. No, no. Ah, crap. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna run out of stuff. You get the general idea, though. Um, let's go to here. Gotta cook up some more stuff. So we'll come back and get it <clears throat> later. Once we've got uh, cold protection, this will be a lot easier. We won't be on the time crunch. I need a picture. Are the stones back? The stones are back. Cool. Luminous stone deposits, uh, ore deposits, and then rare ore deposits can all be taken pictures of. Their drops can't, obviously. No, none of the drops can get, can, uh, get pictured. Like the monster guts and all that stuff. <clears throat> Bunch of trees. Uh, cooking pot. So, <clears throat> nope. Hmm. Hey, Acorns, acorns. Where are my acorns at? Oh, no, those are the nuts. Never actually looked for acorns before. I'm sure I'm looking right at them and I can't see them. Hmm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was doing some research <clears throat> on cooking, and uh, acorns give you a little boost to your time. So, putting two of these in here gives me so much uh, protection, frost protection, and then depending on what you fill it out with, <clears throat> you could either add more hearts or more time uh, to the duration of, of the stuff. Uh, I think acorns are a pretty decent. They're they're easy to find basically, and I don't use them for basically anything else. So as a filler, for time increase, they're they're pretty decent. Apparently, dragon horns. <clears throat> a dragon horn, if you add it in there, will add 30 minutes to your duration, or I think it, it maxes out at 30 minutes. So. You've got 30 minutes instead of like five or six, which is pretty great, but you got to use a horn for it. Ah, uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm hoping. See, she heard me. I don't know if she can get to me though. Oh, she's coming down all right. Yeah, way to go, Epona. You really are the god of horses. Except for you can't tell. Me. Man, if I had, if Epona could, uh, could change her, her bridle and stuff. 
she would be in, in no small fashion the best thing ever. It would be the only horse you ever need. Ice shoes. Nope. Not gonna use that to fight. Uh, so these guys like the fire ones whenever they... Um, well, I guess if they don't use it first. <clears throat> so you saw he just did a he did a, an attack. He basically lunged and then he turned into a big ice um, kind of mace spiked ball thing. Uh, so that after he does that, right after he does that, he's basically a regular chew, uh, regular chew powers anyway. Um, but if he's still got the kind of frost look to him, whenever you kill him, he'll explode in a in a, a, you know, a frost bubble like that. Hey, there you go. And they'll freeze everything around him, including these guys. Oh man, I can push him. I know that I've ever seen them before. You get kind of a critical hit uh, whenever you uh, break a break something. Spike on the porch. That, was that a black one? I don't think I've gotten a picture of a black one yet. It is a black one. He's like, I can see you. What's going on here? It's very confusing to me. He's got a pot lid and a ladle. <laughs> These guys are a lot tougher, but they are... They are not any... smarter. And again, maybe I just interrupted what would otherwise be a, a normal, kind of, everyday occurrence. Like, you know, I just interrupted their, their meal time, basically. Soup ladle and a pot lid. Soup ladles have four. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's twice as powerful as a Deku stick, and I picked it up because I don't have any. Yep. <clears throat> I don't have anything else in that uh, in that slot. So you can see there's a buried treasure chest here. The snow and the sand. You'll find several of these. Some arrows. Ah, don't be harassing people on horseback. Ta da! It's safe now. You can return. I do have a picture of a torch. Alright, so it's just the Lizalfos now, and mm, I don't really feel good about being able to sneak up on him. Nope. Picked up a tree branch. It really makes a lot of difference. <clears throat> Nope. 
just a just a matter of practice. You notice they're kind of switching off. One will attack me, and the next one will attack me. And the first one goes back. I'm actually going through. Usually, you don't want to fight a Lazalfos for two handed weapon because they're they're too fast. <clears throat> they're too fast for you. I definitely don't want to fight them with a torch though. try this. I haven't actually tried this yet. Okay, so you could do that. Yep. Wanted to make sure you could, uh, you could spin <clears throat> this even though it's a boomerang. And then, that eh, hit something. Okay, well there you go. Took out a small encampment, not because I needed to. And I probably shouldn't have, but uh, it's fine. It's cool. We got some stuff. Got some pictures. Got some some random items. Come on, there you go. Try and get out of this cold in the next 13 seconds. I'm not too far from the cold zone, the end of the cold zone. I'm just trying to go into the... She's trying to do some uh, path finding on the road. <clears throat> and I'm trying to dissuade her from doing that because I wanted her to kind of cut a corner. Now we're at the end of the, the frost zone, or the cold zone. That's all there was to it. Ooh, what just happened? See, he tried to use his tongue on me. You don't have a tongue. So I think... There's something special about one of these arms. It might be the Lazolfos arm. Yeah, see? Ha, <laughs> you can use it as a boomerang. I didn't know that until just recently. That's pretty handy. Okay, they want me to go this way for a shrine. I know there's one over there, and I know there's one down here. There might be two down here. But do I want to go down and get it? That's that's the question. I'm kind of in a good place right now. Let's just let's just hit the town. Epona. Speaking of... No crap. Wrong button. These are not in the order that I expected them to be in. Hmm. Um. Oh right, I need to... Map. Sheikah Sensor. Ah, 
Yes. Excellent, Epona. Just keep moving. It's kind of cool to see the bird up there. <clears throat> this would be Divine Beast 2 for us. I think we'll actually get a cutscene because we're going to town. <clears throat> we'll actually get the cutscene. Hey, it's Koss. Rito Staple. I don't think he has anything for us right now. Usually whenever he's at the stable, he doesn't have anything special. No thanks, buddy. Not interested. Where am I? Oh. This is Rito Stable. Thank you. Hey, it's another rumor mill. This is just a regular one. You notice the the DLC ones had like the V something whatever after the the volume name. The sword that seals the darkness carries the blood of the hero in their veins. There isn't any hero in my bloodline, so this sword would just be a big paperweight. <laughs> one star. <laughs> uh, that's kind of an interesting one. I think? No, nah, we don't quite have to make this one. But yeah, just look at all the cool stuff you can make. All different kinds of recipes. Ah, this is the guy that needs curry rice. Or, sorry, uh, he needs uh, Goron Spice. I have Hylian Rice, but I need a Coron, Coron Spice. Luckily, we already picked some up. It's all yours, buddy. So it's it's not a bad trade. I think we bought them for like 16 rupees. So it's a decent profit margin. <clears throat> and he'll trade you rice for spice. Etc. Um, so this area is actually a pretty decent place to get wood. Because this will all respawn, and it only takes, you know, two bombs worth to get all these pieces of wood. But it's not like, you know, you can get an axe from half a dozen stables, including this one, and then just uh, kind of go at some trees for a while, and, and you'll be in as good shape or better shape in about... 10 seconds, so it's fine, it's good to to know that it's there, but it's not like this is your your one-stop shop for lumber. It's, it's handy, it's, I mean it's definitely uh, not something I really paid attention to before So there were times, I mean, up until basically this playthrough, I didn't really think about all the wood they had stashed here. Yep, so that's it. We're going to uh, Rito Village right now, which is right over there. And we're going to need Epona. Epona. 
Too much trouble to put Epina over the bridge. Actually, I'm not 100% sure she goes on the bridge. Yeah. So this is a Rito. This is your standard Rito, like soldier, I guess you would call him, style. Um, Gesane. Who are you? I am Gesane of Rito. The Rito of Lake Totori. The men are fine archers and the women better singers. So most of the Rito look like this guy. Um, Cass is a special case. His his design's based on like a macaw. And then there's an owl version. And there's kind of like a more badass version of this of the normal guys that uh, you run into. That's about it. And then the kids. I love the kids. They're just so cute. We're gonna see them here pretty quick. There should be fish in this pond. Wait, do I have a picture of a cold burner? I suppose it flew away. I don't think I do. Come on. Birds are hard. Uh, I might have walked. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I thought there were fish in this pond. Maybe it's the next pond. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be faster, having it on here or not. It's kind of a cool little, cool little setup. You got a handful of these kind of platform areas. This one. Salmonoka? No, hardy salmon. That's right. And they just hang out because I'm in stealth gear. Just love this stealth gear. Just for general exploration, this is the best. Now, I, I did some research on uh, armor stuff. And now that I know some, <clears throat> some new tricks, which <laughs> I'd never really paid attention to before, we're going to have to... Uh, Oh yeah, cutscene time. We're gonna have to go get some ancient armor here, eventually. Um, we don't have to. Yeah. I think this guy's name is Meadow. I get all the... I get all the Divine Beasts mixed up in my head. I saw some pretty weird art styles for the original, like the early stages of the Divine Beasts, because basically the artists based, had just, you know, I want them to have more than one leg, and this is for like the Guardians too, um, or sorry, this, no, what I'm thinking of is specifically for the Guardians, they wanted to have more than one leg and be able to move around, um, or more than two legs and be able to move around on land and stuff. Um, there were some creepy pictures. Where am I? Mosley. What's going on? Can't you tell? It is Meadow. Va Meadow. It showed up a while back. Where, where was this before? I mean, where are you going to hide this thing? Ah. Uh. Nah, we're good. There's a shrine here, obviously. This is a town. Here is the, uh, the, uh, statue, Hylia statue. We've only got three, so I can't do anything yet. 
Ah, this guy is something. We'll talk to him later. That's the inn. Uh, a bunch of people talking about Meadow. This is the, the general store. It's got some bomb arrows. So we're going to buy those. Okay. And regular ah. arrows. Thank you. Shrooms. You don't really need any more shrooms. Uh, this is a recipe book. Some rice, some cane sugar, and some butter. I don't really need any of those right now. Uh, this is the armor shop. We're gonna buy all of this stuff. Hey. The snow quill stuff protects you from cold. So it's great. You're gonna be in cold a lot. Not, you know, it's like a third of the map, basically, whenever you get down to it. But each one of these has one level of cold <laughs> resistance. There's only two levels of cold resistance. Um, so that's that's what Link looks like whenever he's, he's fully Rito-kitted. Uh, you only need two of these to be to be free from cold effects completely. Look at them! Oh god, they're so cute. Ginley. Some kind of traveler? Did you... Uh, oh yeah, that's why I'm here. What? Aw, she doesn't like singing. They're so cute. These are all females, by the way. There's only like two male Rito kids, I think. I think both of them are special. Ah. See, this is a girl version. Amali. This one gives you a shrine quest. I love stories. Once upon a time, my grandpa. Saw something super important inside its belly. He had swallowed something. Later, we need we need a handful of stuff first. Uh, there's the shrine. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, this girl's just kind of amusing. This is one of the guys that got hurt. Hearth. So he's got kind of a kind of a different style. He's basically the same bird. This is not your concern. That cursed monster. However, where is it? There it is. Swallow bow. This is kind of like a phrenic bow in that it's got uh, it's got a um, a longer. It's got a kind of a zoom function. So we basically stole this guy's bow. And we're going to continue stealing this guy's bow because it's a really handy one to just have. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, you can actually 
Uh, you're supposed to be able to um, draw it faster, too, which I don't necessarily have any data on. This is one of the boys. Hey! Tulin. Morning. <laughs> great kids are great greeters. Cool. Showing us where the flight range is. <laughs> we have to do that as part of the the temple, the pre-temple stuff. This is one of the unique mm. girls. <sighs> okay. And here's the owl dude. <laughs> A visitor. Welcome to oh. that object on your hip. That's right. I'm the hero of time. Look at that face. A mere descendant and inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Champion descendant. Yeah, okay. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Bend it to your will. Mm. Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow. Hearth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed. Find Teba. Teba's the guy in the flight range. Aww. Oh. I am a champion. I'm a champion. Alright, we're gonna hit the shrine. And then... Uh, I really wanna hit that tower. Oh. <laughs> He's a big jerk. <laughs> Just adorable. So theoretically, that girl has four sisters. I'm pretty sure they're all related. There's there's five of them total, and I think that's their mom. And <clears throat> from what I can remember, Kas, the the macaw Rito that you know with the accordion, he's supposed to have five kids. So if he's from Rito Village. Those are his kids. Because there's only a handful of kids in this whole game. Which is kind of interesting. Pick up on little random things like that. <sighs> Ak Vakwat. Vakuo? Windmills. Alright, so you can see there are these the fan things that we've seen before. Uh, these we haven't seen before. The little the windmill kind of things. There are some chests back here. I don't have a Korok leaf, but I don't know that I need it for sure. I might need it. Hmm. I might have to go out and get a Korok leaf. Well... There might be one here that I can use. We're going to take a shot at it anyway. Core. Excellent. That means we have at least three of them now. Which is great, because that means we can upgrade our, our stasis. Room. Sapphire. 
wonder if there's anything else in this. Feathered Spear. The hallmark of Rito craftsmanship. So yeah, if you think about it, while they're flying, uh, the Rito are using their, their feet for combat. That's how they draw their bows. I think that's how they use their spears. I've never actually seen them use spears before. But uh, it's kind of cool. Come on, never had a chance. Shouldn't be anything else over here. And we got the chest that they wanted us to get. Okay, so now we just need to do this. Basically, we want all of these windmills to be moving. And we only have so many of these fans to do that. Um, so... Okay. Plan B. Wait, which one of these am I not using? Well, I'm not using this one. First guy I've seen with his hands raised like that. <laughs> Doesn't have a hat. He's got a crazy bob in, in the back of his head. So I can turn it in for more stamina. More stamina, more power. Mas stenema, mas poder. Alright, so we got everything we needed out of this town. Uh, we're going to hit the shrine... Or not the shrine, the, uh, the statue real quick. This way. There we go. There's a couple other quests here, but it's just as easy to do them all after we do the Divine Beast. Because some of them don't unlock until after the Divine Beast is done. things marked. I don't know. Nope. 
distance is just as easy. It's probably a little faster than running up the running up the stairs. the green one. Uh, the green one is nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we're headed for the purple. Uh, so you notice there is a there is a a shrine pad over there in that general vicinity. <laughs> Um, we can do stuff with it now if we want to, but I don't really want to, because you gotta wait. See, there's a, the shadow of the, the big, um, bird tower outcropping thing. It's got that little heart hole in it. <clears throat> and at a certain time of the day, which is presumably around noon, based on where it is right now, uh, it is on top of that, that pad. And you have to uh, basically have a campfire on top of that pad whenever the, the heart is over top of it. So it's just one of those weird random things. Okay, so we got some malice, some corruption. This isn't too bad. corruption here, but we don't really need to mess with almost any of it, if I recall correctly. either one. That's assuming I can get to one of them. Sure doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Tabantha Tower. Okay, so... Ah. 
Yes, that's what I needed. Okay, that was Tabantha Tower. Obviously, there's a harder way to do that. If you go up the main road, you have to deal with more nonsense, but it's not too crazy. I want to say the one pretty much directly south of here <clears throat> is the one that I just despise. But uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. Hey, it might be next. East of us right now. With the yellow blip, I think. So we got your Rito village, we already talked about that. Uh, this is the uh, the flight range that they were that we have to go and we have to mess with uh, the guy that survived the attack. Um there's not a terrible amount of crazy stuff here. Uh, Kuho Mountain... Yes. I think this is the three... There's three peaks here, and then right in the middle is a uh, great shock, or a shock great sword, I think. It's one of those reoccurring things. Um, this island's got something on it. Piper Ridge right here is a fairy fountain and there's a shrine up here there's a handful of uh, cool things but anyway that's where we're gonna stop for right now and we'll pick up the next one later I want to head to I want to head over there and and get this uh, the yellow tower next which is really hard to see right at the moment. There's a whole bunch of thunderstorms over there. Those are the thunder planes, so it makes sense that they're, they've got thunderstorms. It's a pretty cool effect, though. Anyway. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later.